Now today we're going to take a look at serialized field and I know serialized field is not a property drawer or any sort of custom inspector or any sort of editor at all, but it does affect the way things are displayed in the inspector. And for that reason alone, I just want to include it in this small series. So let's go ahead. We'll jump into our script. Uh, first, we'll take note here. There's no name property. Let's say we wanted to give this object a name. We're going to be adding it to this script. I'm going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to create a private string and I'll just call it my name. And I'm going to default it out to be, uh, I don't know, need name. And I'll leave a space there. Now, for those that come from a programming background and really like to use object oriented programming, you understand why we keep stuff private and not always want to keep it on public. But sometimes you want to be able to take advantage of the ease of use of Unity's inspector. And we can't access the name property over here. We want it to, to show up, but it's not there. So we can go ahead and get around this simply by adding, adding the serialized field tag above it. And if we come back in and we take a look here, let it refresh. There we go. My name needs name. We can actually go ahead and change it in the inspector and it still remains private in our script. So any other scripts that access that script cannot change that name, but we can in the inspector. 